What's good YouTube? In this video, this is going to be the Fast AF Boy version. Fast as f boy. <laughs> Still fast as f boy. Of the voice meter setup video to understand it a little slower, you're going to need to click the link down in the description to get that one. It's a longer video, not talking as quick, but this is for the people who exactly know pretty much what they're going to be doing and they know how to work with these different softwares. They don't need me to talk about it on the slow side. So fast AF, let's get it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come over after you download the actual situation from voice meters website, the software and the actual virtual cables and stuff. You want to come into your output section. You want to choose voice meter aux input aux VAIO. If you choose this right here, this just assigns another option for where it outputs to. So right now, if I have a video playing, it's going to come through this right here and it's going to be on this side as far as the aux. If I make this other selection right here, it's simply just going to come through the other side right here. That's literally all that does. We're not going to fool with that at all. So first thing you want to do, come up here, A1 right here. You see the A1 right there. You want to choose your speaker, whatever speaker you want it to come through. So I'm using a laptop, so I choose the one that's for my laptop. So if I plug up some headphones, it'll work perfectly fine. As far as A2, you choose whatever one that you use for A2. As far as whatever other speaker if you have another third option choose the third option i don't so i don't choose that over here you want to select your microphone once you select your microphone you can test around with it you can monitor it by hitting a1 it'll come through your speaker and then you can test around move this around and get the sound sounding how you like it I'm not moving this at all because I like how it sounds right now. This is the sweet spot. This is the chef's kiss for this microphone situation. I'm not moving that at all. So if you want to, you can move it around, get it situated. But like I said, this right here is around the sweet spot for most microphones. Right here, you see I have a noise gate. If I drop this down from 1.5 to zero, you're gonna hear all the background noises and situations and breathing and when I'm playing the game, streaming, whatever. You're going to hear all that. You don't want to hear all that. So you just put a noise gate on, get it situated to how you want it, but not so much of a noise gate that is cutting off your voice. But I'm way louder than what this noise gate is cutting off it. So it's all good. Everything's said and done with that. So as far as where it comes out, A1, A2, A3. Like I said, A1, A2, A3 is going to come through those spots if you select this right here. Monitor it, A1. B1 is going to make it come through voice meters situation. So over here in OBS, you see properties and then you see voice meter VAIO right there, chilling, looking nice, looking beautiful. I don't want it coming through aux, so I choose B1. If you want it to come through the aux situation, choose B2. Choice is up to you. Now, as far as your microphone, if your microphone is a stereo microphone, you want to choose mono because mono is going to help you whether you're too far to the left, too far to the right. The person with the headphones is going to hear it and they're going to be like, uh, this is not right. It's too loud for this side, too loud for that side. So I choose mono. So once I choose mono, that's going to have me situated to where it's going to be equally even on both sides of the the headphone or the speaker situation. Next, you see right here, I have a whole nother microphone. You just simply do the same steps for the new microphones. And then over here, you even see I have a capture card pulling in. So if you want to, you don't even gotta hook your controller up to your headset. You can hook it up to the computer, have your capture card pushing it through voice meter, and then just simply send it to the speakers that you wanna hear the sound on. And then you can just do everything on here, your Discord calls, Skype calls, whatever the heck you wanna do, you can just do it here if you want to. But that's all there is to it. And then over here, as far as your output sections, this is the same situation as all over here. So if you've got your desktop coming over here to the aux, that's all it is. Just boom, boom, bam, slam. Choose what you want. Choose where it goes. All said and done. If this video helped you out, please slam that like button. It's greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Also, if you know people that like their time not wasted, show them this video. If they need voice meter set up nice, show them this video. If they can't handle the speed, they can click the video in the description to get them all set up, get it all situated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.